What is up you guys? Born to Grind here looking just a little bit different and no, I didn't go to the Makeover Mage. I actually made myself a free to play alt. Uh, this is my second account. I'm thinking about making this a skilling account. Not entirely sure anything is possible. Straight off Tutorial Island with this one, I did Doric's Quest, Cook's Assistant, and Goblin Diplomacy. Other than that, I haven't done anything with her. I figured since my main account is pretty much, I would say, into the mid game rather than early game, it is no longer a new account. Thus me trying to show completely brand new characters how to do things is not going to be very effective if I'm doing them on a fairly progressed account and they don't have one. So this is going to be a little mini series of how to make money as a brand new account without using the security stronghold, stronghold of security to get that, what is it, 10k that it gives you? I've got another way. In this video, I'm going to take this 25 GP we start with and hopefully turn it into 25,000, doing it the only way and the best way I know how. So stay tuned and uh, let's get some money, eh? I bopped right on over here to the Varrock clothing store with my 25 GP in hand, ready to spend it all. The reason we are here at the clothing store is because you can buy several different kinds of clothing items, very cheap, either one or two GP for what we're going to go after specifically today. Um, we are just going to left click on an item and that will give you how much the shop is selling it to you for and then we're going to right click and go down and examine and that is going to give us the average price that it is selling for on the GE. So far though the only good thing here was the brown apron we bought one for two GP just going down the list and we're going to get some of these red capes and these pink skirts when the shop runs out of stock, you just want to click that X in the top right corner and it will bring up a menu and you want to world hop just to any other free to play world. The next one, skip a few, doesn't really matter and just buy exactly what we just bought previously until we run out of money and that will be fairly quickly. We don't even have enough to get a whole inventory, but that's okay. We're about to see some of the cash start rolling in. Shameless plug real quick, right before we finish spending all of our money and go back to the GE, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps a small creator grow at the time of voicing this over. I have 150 subscribers, yay! And I'm so happy and thankful for every single one of them. I do have a goal of 250 though for my next giveaway. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. Back to the video. Our next step is to go to the Grand Exchange and sell all of this off for that sweet, sweet GP. Remember, we started with 25 coins. With our 12 items that we got for 24 GP, leaving us with just a single coin to our names, let's put these in here. Now, I did want them to insta-sell just for the sake of the video, make things quick, speed them along. So you will see me putting the price down by just a few coins. Um, you don't have to do that. You can sell it for as much or as little as you want to try to get out of them. Doing just a little bit of price checking here. Um, 1400 that is not too bad at all for what, like, two minutes worth of work, three minutes tops if you include travel. Now I will say we are going to try to sell these red capes. Oh boy. Uh, I figured they would be a go-to item, but they were not in demand like I figured they would be. The brown aprons are used to get into the crafting guild and the pink skirt is a quest item 
so those will always be in some kind of demand so they will pretty much sell you know not for a ton but enough to get us going and that's exactly what we need Yeah, these were not selling at all. I had to drop them kind of low and I just did not buy any more of these. But 700 coins is more than enough for what we need to do next. That's right, you guessed it. Right back to the clothing shop for another round. We are going to spend all 700 coins on more brown aprons and pink skirts but this time we're going to be able to get several inventories so we're just going to boot bop on over to the bank which is super close right in between you and the grand exchange and just rinse and repeat keep world hopping the aprons and skirts refresh after a while so it's pretty quick and then right back to the ge you know Let's pop into the bank and get a little organized. We can create separate bank tabs just to keep everything where it should be, pretty much. So we put our gold coins, our aprons, and pink skirts all in one tab, and everything else we got from our account creation in the default first tab. We are then going to go down and hit that note button and take out our 279 pink skirts and our 71 brown aprons and it is time to sell. I had to do just a little bit of price adjusting because 270 of anything one person's only going to need one they do take a little bit of time to sell but eventually they did and I was just waiting on the aprons but I cut all that out. I did not have to wait too long, only about an hour, and there they are, you guys. Sold, sold, sold. And we went above and beyond. I expected to get maybe 25K, but here we got well over 27. The more, the merrier, because you can never have too much GP in old school RuneScape. There's always going to be something to spend your cash stack on, unfortunately. But that is all for this mini series. The next episode will be me taking this 27k and doing something with it to make even more money. Like I said, eventually I hope to have enough to get a bond and take you guys with me along the journey. See ya!